Hello students, today I am going to start question number 3 of exercise 12.2. Now in question number 3 we have subtract. In the previous question we have seen that addition can be done in two ways, line method and column method. Similarly, subtraction also can be done in two ways, line method and column method. So first four sums will be doing by line method and rest four sums will be doing by column method. Now. Now in this part we are following line method okay. So in the first part we have minus 5y square from y square. We will have to subtract minus 5y square from y square. From y square means from this number we will have to subtract this. So we will have to write y square at first. And since we will have to subtract so we will have to give minus sign. And then what we have to subtract it's minus 5y square so we'll have to write this within the bracket so this minus sign we have given as question is subtraction and this minus sign is its own okay now y square will remain same minus minus here minus sign then bracket and then minus sign that means minus sign multiplied by minus sign so it's plus minus minus plus right so we'll put plus sign plus 5y square now we will have to add this to coefficient of this y square is 1 and coefficient of this is 5 so 5 plus 1 is 6 and then we will have to write the variable part which is y square so answer of the first part will be 6y square now coming to second part in the second part we have 6xy from minus 12xy so we will have to subtract 6xy from this means from minus 12xy we will have to subtract 6y so we will have to put minus sign and then 6y to be subtracted from the term minus 12xy so it will be minus 12xy minus 6xy okay now minus minus plus so 12 plus 6 is 18 and since both the digit is having negative sign so it will be minus 18 and then we will have to write the variable part which is xy so answer of the second part will be minus 18 xy okay now coming to third part so in the third part we have a minus b from a plus b so from a plus b we will have to subtract a minus b now at first we will remove the bracket so if you remove the bracket from here we'll get a plus b why because here in front of a no sign is given that means it is considered to be plus sign right so it will remain same but in next term since minus sign is there before the bracket so sign will change inside of the bracket why because we are multiplying this and this so it will become plus right here we have plus sign so plus minus will become minus a but when you multiply minus with this minus so it will become plus b now here we have plus a and here we have minus a so plus minus minus so coefficient of a is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so it will cancel b plus b so coefficient of b is 1 and here coefficient of b is 1 so 1 plus 1 2p okay so answer of the third part will be 2p now coming to fourth part now in the fourth part we have a into b minus 5 from b into 5 minus a so from this expression b into 5 minus a we have to subtract the first expression which is a into b minus 5 now we will have to simplify it b into 5 is 5b then we have minus sign b into a is ab or ba now we have minus sign now here we have plus in front of b no sign is there means plus so plus and minus will become minus okay and a into b is ab 
and in front of pi minus sign is there so minus minus will become plus and pi into a is pi e okay always remember if there is minus sign before the bracket then if you remove the bracket all the terms which is present inside of the bracket all the sign of the term will change because of this minus sign okay plus will become minus and minus will become plus due to minus sign before the bracket as you are multiplying by this sign okay now here pi b term is not present only one b term is present and rest or here we have a b term and here we have a term so this is unlike term so it will remain same now here a b and a b so minus minus plus so coefficient of a b is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 a b and the sign will be minus at both the term is having minus sign and then plus pi b since here only one a term is there so we, we cannot do anything with this so answer of the fourth part will be pi b minus 2 a b plus pi b as these three are unlike them it cannot be simplified further okay so this was all about question number three thank you students